In this session, I want to talk about one of our exciting upcoming technologies known as DVS, or VMware Distributed Virtual Switch. With DVS, we're trying to make networking setup and therefore adding capacity to your virtualized environment even easier for the virtual infrastructure admin. Currently, you have to create and configure a virtual switch at the host level. These switches are often identically configured. With DVS, this configuration can be done once at the cluster level and applied to every host within that cluster. So let me show you just how easy it is to create a distributed virtual switch. I go over to the home page, select networking, select the data center, and I have the option down under commands to create a new distributed virtual switch. Give it its name. Let's call it uh, switch 01. Number of uplink ports is four. We'll just take the defaults. And of course, I can select the host that I want to add. And you'll see the entire list of all my hosts within the infrastructure. And I'm going to select them. I'm going to select them all. Just go ahead and add them all in. Now you'll notice here that the physical NICs that they've selected are ones that haven't already been assigned to our legacy networks. And by the way, we also had the ability, if I wanted to, to add hosts later on. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add them now. Basically, uncheck the automatically create the default port group because I want to create the first port group. I'm going to say finish. And it's going to take a few minutes because it's got to go through each of the hosts and actually attach itself to each of the hosts, make sure that the switches can be seen by each of the hosts. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and create a new port group. And let's just call this VM underscore management. Zero one. I'm only going to give it, let's just give it a 48 port switch. And I have the option to choose if I want to use VLAN, VLAN trunking, or PVLANs. But next, finish. And there you have the port group that I created. And you'll notice that the adding distributed virtual switch down here, the task, has actually completed. So now, one of the nice things about this, as we said, this is a capability that provides us with a simple, single pane of glass, more or less, to manage your virtual switches. Well, we also provide the ability to basically migrate all of our legacy virtual switches over, if we so choose, which I'm going to do right now. I'll select my source. That was my original production 01. And my destination is the new distributed virtual switch port that we actually created. And now I'm going to actually show all the virtual machines that we've actually have the ability to migrate over. I can sort them, of course, alphabetically. I can sort them by the host that they're actually on. And uh, I can select them individually if I want to migrate them all or just one or two at a single time. But in this case, I am going to migrate them all. I'm going to say OK. And at this point, it goes through and it modifies or reconfigures the individual virtual machines. And that's how simple it is to create a distributed virtual switch. So let's go back to our home page. Let's go to hosts and clusters. Let's look at our VMs. And let's go ahead and look at uh, Linux VM 22. And you'll notice that the network it's actually attached to is VM Management 01, the network that we just created. 
So basically to sum it up, we're simplifying the setup and change of virtual networking, which makes your life easier and also helps you stay within compliance. A couple items to note, this framework also enables third parties to provide their own distributed virtual switches. Third parties can utilize this capability to deliver a virtualization aware virtual switch for VMware environments, enabling virtual networks to be managed as efficiently and transparently as the physical networks. If you have a larger environment with a networking team, you can actually offload all of the networking setup and configuration in your virtual environment to that team. So there you go. It doesn't get any easier than that.